Remotes are called remotes because there's always a remote chance you can't find them. Or you can find them. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's your turn. No, it's not. Oh, really? No, it's not. Well, this has been... This is. <laughs> this, is the, this has been the As Yet Undecided podcast. This is. <laughs> Tis the As Yet Undecided mm. podcast. With your much, much, widely conflicted hosts, Mike, Michael, Canada, <laughs> and Sophie Pickles Zang. Now, 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 before we start, we, we, we need, we need some, oh, we, we need some Snapchats. Mike, are you Snapchatting my face? Yes, I am Snapchatting your face right now. Do I look pretty? No. Why are you Snapchatting my face if I don't look pretty? Just to, just to tell people that the podcast is actually going on. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's doing us live. How, why does it matter? No, but, but it's only because that, that we have an audience and we we're trying to captivate an audience, which is technically your job. Wait, do you think, <laughs> I, should, do you think I should get a Snapchat for no, this? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I can make a Snapchat for As You Undecided. We, we agreed. Yeah. At the start of this podcast. Yeah. That I would be the producer. Yeah. And you would be the social media person. Yes. Under your social medias, mm. <laughs> have you done your objectives as a job? I've been uploading faithfully the <laughs> podcasts, and I have been. I haven't really been engaging people, have I? <laughs> Should I? Well, if you if you want to change that. Yeah. By all means, you can edit the podcast if you want to. No, thank you. I <laughs> shall. I shall get a Snapchat for as you undecided. It will be AYU podcast on Snapchat as well. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, firstly, firstly, we need to we need to talk about something. I, I've been getting a myriad of emails lately mm. from someone. Not me. No, no, no. No, someone that is you that hasn't told me that it's you. How? How? Okay. Talk to, yeah, name all of the social media platforms that we are not a part of. That, that we are not linked. LinkedIn? Yes, well done. I have a LinkedIn. Do you have a LinkedIn? I don't have a LinkedIn. Okay. Just to make sure, because I I am getting emails some from somebody, I don't know who, and I was assuming that it was you. Did someone steal my identity? No, I'm not saying that. Do you know this person? No. No? Okay, so it's not you, so I can completely ignore it. I don't have a LinkedIn. Okay. <laughs> what? Who the, who's, who's that person? I don't know. That's freaky. I know. Mm. I, was, I was like, I was ashamed of you because there's a, the, the, you know those people that you have no idea who they are. Yes. Like on a Facebook. Yes, I'm putting a friend of mine who doesn't listen to the podcast on blast. Mm. Right. They have a picture of something very non-descriptive. Yes. And a name attached to that name that you don't know who it is. Mm. So what do you do? Do you accept the request or do you decline it? I would think that you would decline it because you don't know who that person is. Yeah, I would decline it because it, I don't even I don't even know them, let alone they're not my friend. Yes. If, if there were some sort of indicators yeah. to find out, oh, you're that person, oh, you're that person... Then that's fine. Mm. Then I would gladly accept. But if you if you have there is no descriptive details to make me seem aware of who you are, yeah, then I'm not going to bother. No, because it's your own fault. You could be spam. Exactly, you could be spam. Mm. Spam is only good on a mediocre sandwich. Mm. Okay. Or stir fried with egg. Yeah, stir fried with egg. Mm. If egg food spam. Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure that I got my Chinese right. No, you didn't. Damn. But so it's I can't be bothered correcting damn it, you. Damn it! I was every wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm more full of jokes today. I'm more full of jokes because I'm not in pain today. 
because Mike has finally found a way to cleanse his eyes out. Yeah, like it's... how he cleansed his sin. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like inducing artificial tears. Yes. <laughs> which is which is a great thing to say if you were a robot. Or a crocodile. Or, or a crocodile. But not if you're a tin man. Oh, true. Yeah. Rusty. Yeah. And people think I'll be the, in the Wizard of Oz. Mm. And, and, and asking for a heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So how was your week, Mike? Apart from that creepy ass email from a complete stranger, and <laughs> both of us have no idea who it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been quite strange. Yeah. Um. X Files strange. <coughs> no. Have you no. been abducted by aliens? Is that no, why you no, call no. scars? Oh, oh, internal scars. Yeah, sure. Internal scars, sure. External scars, maybe not so much. Okay, I was just wondering if they po- probed with your brain. Oh, okay. Um. So not quite X Files weird. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's um, well, well, this is this is. I'm not sure if you can call this illegal or not because ma- majority of the people that do this is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I downloaded a few emulators, mm-hmm. and I've been gaming like I am when I was six years old again. Oh, I think I know the answer. Is your game more than ten or fifteen years old? Yes. Then, in which case, it's illegal. Gay. Uh, I think copyright for games only lasts for about 10 to 15 years. Songs, about 5 years. So it's... Legal. Perfectly okay. legal. Okay. Especially if they don't sell them anymore. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the whole point. Because you would only grab emulators... Yeah. You know, I would only use emulators for a game that does not exist. Yeah. So, guys, this is a very good rule of thumb. If you want to know whether your games that you downloaded is legal or not... If they if they no longer sell it, it's very probably legal yeah. because um they were only because the gaming companies will only sell games they can actually make money out of these days. Yeah. And if it's out of copyright, they can't make money out of it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why Nintendo DS games are now legal. Yeah. Yeah. Or they can't be bothered suing you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Either either way, it's no consequences. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I've been on a juice binge at the moment. Are you on a detox diet? I'm not sure if it's detox. Because I've been eating normal food. Yeah? I'm just like, ah, oh, I just feel like juice. What type of juice? The juice is there. Fresh up. Harvest red, red apple. Yep. Ingredients. Water, apple juice, sucrose. You're not on the, you're not on the diet. Okay. That thing will make you fat. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. pH or just F? Hmm? You see it fat. Is it pH or is it F? F fat. Okay, just making sure. I'm sorry, Mike, but that juice is added sugar and it's not good for you. Yeah. It's not good for you, so. Is there anything good for, good for us at all? Is there anything other than love? How about the carrot and apple and pear juice I make every morning for my parents and I? Can you say that again? Can you say exactly what you said again? I shall slow myself down. Okay, I, okay this is me being a snob. Okay. <laughs> it's not organic, though. No. Um, so, what's healthy for us is probably the carrot and apple and pear juice I make with for my parents and I pretty much every morning. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. That's not exactly what you said. You said daily. Yeah, pretty much daily. I, okay. I was lying when I said daily. I think it's about five times a week. Yeah, so, so yeah, but, you know, the way, because you said it's that fast. Yeah. He says, oh, every morning I wake up, I, I make my peer, I make my peer juice and my family and I to die. Just slow. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I die? <laughs> That's what I heard. Just slow down the podcast, okay? Just slow down the podcast. <laughs> I didn't hear daily. I heard the die. Mike, you're the, Mike, you're the one that's full. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one is the is the song title for a lot of songs. Mike, are you sure it's not a Freudian slip or Freudian think? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with a Freudian think. Yeah, Freudian think. A Mondi Green. A, mo- a, a, a what? A Mondi Green. A Mondi Green. Is it a pastel color green? No. That's <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard of a Mondi Green? I've heard of the colour green. Um, Mondi Green is a commonly misheard lyric. 
So like sweet dreams are made of these are commonly misheard as sweet dreams are made of cheese. Oh. Yeah. They'd be, they'd be good on a piece of bread. Sweet dreams are made <laughs> of cheese. <laughs> Who am I to disagree? Yeah, but, but, but we're talking about this. It's like, do you do this at home? Do you sing it? Do you sing in your bedroom? Yes, to the annoyance of my parents. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> they think I'm mad. Mad? Yes. Well, well if, you, if you do a scramble mad, what, what do you get? No idea. Damn! Like a water dam. Like a water dam. Oh, well, how does that song go again? We don't need that water, but we just built that good god dam! Um, this is probably going to be the worst the podcast <laughs> after the good one that we did last week oh i know <laughs> no it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be it's going to be better i just need to refrain myself from singing okay because like like because like i've actually listened to the podcast three times yeah it's actually really good isn't it <laughs> but i only listened to it twice because i wanted to keep my ego down low oh. <laughs> yeah yes um sophie listens to the podcast to get an ego boost i know Especially with the last week's episode when I said mind blowing about seven times. Yeah. <laughs> now, now back to our regular scheduled programming. Yes. <laughs> now. Uh, you haven't asked about my week. Okay, okay. How was your sim, sim week? Good. <laughs> it was good. But as I just had an exam, my hands are sore. Hands are sore? Yeah. So, so, so you're like. See? A- They're like chicken claws now. So you're like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. Small arms race. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, make a bed? <laughs> That's instant happiness right there. Trying to imagine the Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to make a bed. Now, um, n- n- now if you've wa- if you watched the um, Vlogbrothers episode, yes. um, he, like um, John was talking about his favourite subreddits. Yeah. And one of the ones was kids falling over. Oh, he's cruel. I thought he has a kid. He, yeah, we, we, he has two. He has two kids. But, like, he was watching videos about a person just falling off a, um, what's it, a, what are those things that you do, the swing thing? Swing thing? Yeah, the swing thing. It's a swing? A swing. A swing? Yeah. And someone, like, just, like, gently going up and down and then slowly falling over, like, going to sleep. Oh. And another person trying to jump off a diving board backwards with their floaters on, oh, yeah. and basically put their bum on the diving board and flipped over onto the pool. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> it's funny. My favorite um, subreddit is, uh, "What's the worst thing you've ever done in The Sims?" <laughs> Have you seen that one? No, I haven't. But um, it's comedy gold. N- now, I'll link you to it. Sims has been around for a very long time. Fifteen years, I believe. Because I, cause I remember being in the hostel in Hamilton. Yeah? And they're playing Sims 2. How, how long ago was that? This was 2003. Ancient history? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BC, yes. <laughs> yes, this is BC. <laughs> I believe last year they celebrated their 15th anniversary, which means they're currently going into their 16th year now. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, that's generally what happens after you've reached 15. Yeah. You go on to 16. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and afterwards, there'll be the dancing queen. Young and sweet, only <laughs> 17. <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, th- that's not the most favourite song that I know that actually mentions 17. It's the Homer Simpson's first drinking song. Really? Yeah. What? How does that go? When I was 17, I drank some very good beer. I drank some very good beer with a fake ID. My name was Brian Levy when I was 17. Really? Yeah. This is a song we. Oh, wow. Anyway, back to The Sims. Ain't, it's a very, very long standing tradition. Sims? Yeah, The Sims. I, th- I, I, thought, yeah. You were, I thought you were talking about drinking for, for a minute there. No, The Sims. <laughs> we're going back to The Sims. It's a very long standing game. Okay. So. I've always played it, and I've always wondered how accurate it was. Um, now... Aliens are not accurate? Vampires aren't accurate? <laughs> um, well, it's it's a sensationalist view. A sensationalist view, okay. 
on what you want in society. True. But it's very it's very socialist, The Sims World. You know that? And, and it's very um, anarchist as well. How's that? You're the one controlling The Sims and telling them what to do. It's very god very yeah. godly. Yeah. I call it God Simulator. <laughs> That, that was probably one of the um, na- first names for The Sims. What? God Simulator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, let's, let's just cut away the things that are impossible. Say, like, theories, vampires, ghouls. Goblins. Uh, goblins, aliens. Aliens. I don't think The Sims ever had goblins. But, say you cut away all those supernatural elements, and you have your everything else. Yes. How accurate do you think The Sims are? In terms um, of like it's real life? about as accurate as a soap opera. Ah, oh, so you can like simulate Emmerdale. If you want to use Emmerdale as your example for a soap opera, yeah. Um, then or or any other soap opera, but I'm just shocked that you actually your first response was Emmerdale because that's my least favorite soap operas. Okay, okay. I don't like soap operas, and Emmerdale seems to be the worst of the bunch. Wait, 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 wait. If you have the least favourite... Yeah? You must have the most favourite. The one I tolerate the most? <laughs> Doc Martin? Doc Martin? Yeah. Good choice, good choice. That's the one I tolerate the most. Ma- Martin Clunes? Yeah, Martin Clunes. Yeah? yeah. I, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. He's a, he's a very good actor. Yes. Um, oh... Oh well, well. Speaking of British dramas, yeah, I had a strange thought about one of the hosts of QI and what he used to be be in a drama. You series. say Stephen Fry, not Sandy Toxvig. Now I think you're talking about the other one. Stephen Stephen Fry. No, not the other the other one. Which one is it? <laughs> Damn it! Okay, well, well, I'm going to look this up now because I want to get his name right. Okay. He was in a crime drama called Jonathan Creek. If well, this reminds me of the Vampire Weekend song Oxford Comma. Alan Davies. Alan Davies. Oh, here's that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alan Davies. He Davis. is magnificent. Yes, Jonathan Creek was a British drama series on BBC One. Anyway, back to The Sims. Um, yeah. If we rem- so they're about as accurate as a typical soap opera. If that's so, do you think you're able to simulate um, a soap opera and probably work out what's going to happen next? Like well, spoilers. Yeah. Well, well, it's it's pretty much a spoiled soap opera oh, really? because because you are the one controlling what happens next. So you're basically playing God, playing a soap opera. Pretty much. Oh man. And then you have those people that create their friends inside Sims. I've created myself once inside the Sim, but it wasn't complete. It wasn't an accurate version of me. It was like a rich kid version of me. White, richer than you, with ninety nine billion simoleons. <laughs> now, now, now it's the, the the part that I have to ask. Yeah. Is the, the, there are two possible scenarios here? Yes. One, you're doing it for shits and giggles. Yeah. Or two, you actually want this to happen in real life. I'm doing it for giggles. Be, be, because, <laughs> like, like, there's some things that you that you think is, a, it'll, it'll be so cute if this person will hook up with this person. It'd be so nice if he he actually got out of bed and <laughs> and went outside and, to get rid of his depression. <laughs> No, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't play Sims for real people apart from me because, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm because... sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I get freaked out if mm-hmm. I make real people and I force them to do things the, in The Sims. The... <laughs> if you took out in The Sims, yeah. I'm like, this is the exact same discussion that we had last week. <laughs> no, because, like, well, I don't force people to do things in real life. I only nag them. But as in The Sims, you have full control. And that's like, I'm freaking out. I'm not doing that. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to select my privacy settings and put it to maximum now. <laughs> Why <What> is that? <laughs> so you have no control over me. <laughs> we all, we both of us have, have control over each other, you know that? Yes. That's freaky, isn't it? That's, but that's friendship. Don't, don't. <laughs> 
Don't abuse your powers. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't abuse my powers. Please I'm don't. Like yourself. <laughs> Please don't. I've abused my powers and I totally regret it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Sophie's listen. Number 275. Million. Point, point six, point three, update 1025. Don't <laughs> control people. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so the, so the Sims is not entirely, it's not accurate. It's so proper accurate. Yeah. And you can't get pregnant. And... Have you noticed that the most powerful being in The Sims is a pregnant woman? I would agree with it. Yeah. I would agree with they it. They can't die. They can't die. They can't get hungry. What can't they do? They, people, no one can brawl them. No one can basically touch them. They, like, they're, they're so powerful. Now, 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 do you think that pregnant women are invincible? Not in real life. <laughs> Nothing's invincible in real life. The Titanic sank. <laughs> that was a hundred years ago. <laughs> so, Mike, that got me thinking. Uh, well, what would our life be like if we were in The Sims? In The Sims game, what would our life be like? Um... You have, you, have you, 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 would, you, you would be your normal self, but for me, I'll be slightly different. Ha, have you played The Sims? No. How how can you, have you seen people play Sims? Yes. Was, okay, you kind of understand what's going to happen then. Yeah. So I live on. Okay, so why don't we describe each other's life in Sims? Like, what would you do if you were playing me in The Sims? I don't. I I don't even want to think of that. I don't even want to think of that. All right. Because it's giving artificial value when you're right here. Oh, true. <laughs> okay, no. Well, what, what do we just describe our lives? And so, well, my life will be. Uh, I'll be a teenager, I believe. A teenager? Yeah. Not a kid out. Not quite. I'll be a teenager. I'll be in the teenage stage. I'll be like in the one day before my birthday. I'll be yeah, going. To, I'll be going to high school. I'll be going to like uh, secondary school or high school over in the land. I'll be. This is talking about Sims Four here because I have most experience with Sims Four. <laughs> I used to play The Sims 3, but then it's, um... The problem with The Sims 3 is that it's got so many, so many um, features and options that none of my computers could handle it. None of your computers could handle it? None of my computers could have, could have handled it. Okay. So that's one of my biggest problems about The Sims 3. Yeah, it's great. It's got lots of features. The problem is it's got so many features, it just doesn't work. Too buggy. And, um, so Sims 4, I'll go to, I'll go to uni, I'll come back, I'll do my homework, I'll have a swim... I suppose, around a pool. I would... Have a norm- I'll, I'll be living as I would normally do, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably and, have a bustler. And, and me, I would be more well off. Yeah, true, because the Sims world is a lot more egalitarian. Yeah. So, people like you will have an easier time of accessing money. Yeah. You'll be a young adult. Yeah. What will your job be? Um... Uh... Now, now, I want to do something very frivol, but means a lot. Frivol, but means a lot. Um, but, like, it's sort of like, if if you were 100 years ago, what kind of job would, would you have? I would be a socialite. A suffragette. Now, for me, I would be either one of two things. What? I would either be a librarian. Yeah. Or a shoe shiner. Yeah? Yeah. So... How about in Sims 4? Like, what, what type of job would you like right this moment? Let's, and let's see if we can find a Sims 4 cover for you. Um, a charity case? Charity case. <laughs> you can't... That's not a job, Mike. I know, but it, but it made you think for about five seconds. I, I have no idea. Okay, because you can be a politician. You can be a, you can be a charity worker. We'll, we'll, we'll go with a charity worker and I'm on the case. Okay. <laughs> One nice thing about Sims 4 is that there's like virtually no unemployment. So if you want a job, you can get a job. I wish life can be like that. I know, right? But except the economy's in the way. <laughs> what economy? <laughs> oh, man. And, and like, like, I, I know that this is going to be a bit strange. Yeah. Because because we did talk about political stuff last week. And we want to get away with that. Yeah. I can't wait till the Comey interview today. I can't wait. The Comey? Yeah. What's the Comey interview? Well, well, because of what's been going on, yeah, 
Director Comey, who was the director of the FBI. Yeah. He he is on the Senate floor today. Oh! <laughs> goodness. He's asking questions from the House of Representatives. Oh, goodness. Who's the one that's going to get burnt? Him or Trump? Well, I doubt. This is real life slow mo from here. Because ah! they had um, the director for. Was it Central Intelligence? Not the CIA, but yeah. Central Intelligence. The one oh, no, National Intelligence. National Intelligence, right. Yeah, and um, a Admiral in there yesterday. Really? And that was fun. That was fun. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, oh, God. What? Now, now be, be, before we carry on. Yeah. And, and I know we're going to get a little bit anime-ish about this. Yeah. Because there is certain, there is a there is an anime that people are other are rather hit or miss on. Yeah. And the anime I'm talking about is Sword Art Online. I've heard about it, but yes. I haven't really watched it. Okay. So so the premise of this show. Yeah. Uh, continue talking. I need to grab some hand cream. Hand cream. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the 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 plot is there there are there is a brand new VR headset. Yeah. Where you can go in and create, like, a second life. Yeah. But in VR. Yes. Right? What the um, creators forgot to tell you is that um, it, it, as soon as there is a the amount of people inside the game, there is, um, you are in there permanently. You're in there permanently? Yeah. Once you get in, you can't get out. Yeah. Why did the creators forget to say that? Because they actually want to do this as it for research purposes. Oh, so they purposely forgot to tell you. Yeah. So it's like a fallout shelter. Yeah, and pretty much if you died in the game, you died in real life. Isn't that like Catherine? Oh, Catherine's a little bit different. Um, because I, I, I've i wanted to play Catherine for the longest time. Oh, um, yeah, Ca- put, put, that, put that on your wish list. Put that on your wish list. Yeah, because yeah, I love Catherine. It's a great, uh, it's a great concept. I've seen PewDiePie play it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't like that sort of gameplay, but I love the plot. Yeah. Um, and basically, the, you can either die by yourself, Yeah. create your own business, Yeah. or um, there is a 104 tower of enemies that you have to defeat in order for everyone to be cleared. Die by yourself, create your own business. Oh, yeah. And if you climb 100 Tower, everyone's free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a very strange game. Yes. Yeah. Big it's Japanese. Yes. <laughs> very much. Yeah. Like, you can, you can, like, buy your own houses. In the game. In the game. How? Like, with actual currency. And Catherine. No, no, in Sword Art Online. In Sword Art Online. Oh, so Sword Art Online, you have to climb a hundred, hundred story tower. For everyone to be free. For everyone to be free. I thought you were talking about Catherine for a moment. Because no, no, I'm talking about Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Or you can start your own business then. But um, what happens to your corporal body? It just stays there. Wasting away? Yeah, because what what actually happens? It says uh, is well when you die, it sends a artificial elect- electrode in, inside your brain, so you end up being brain dead. So your corporal body, what happens to it? Like, do you have to? How do you keep it that alive? Or do you well, have well, twenty one days? For, for, for some reason, yeah, it makes you stay alive. So yeah, that's the only plot hole in the story. Well. Of course, it's easy to have a um, life support system within the VR set yeah. itself. So, what does the VR set look like? Well, because like because what what happened? I think the plot hole that I was t- re- um, talking about was they found out a way so you can do it remotely. So they got all the people that were inside the game into yeah. a hospital facility. Into a hospital facility, yeah. Yeah, so they, you would get substance. Yeah. So you can carry on playing the game. So, what happens that you... Okay, how does it work? You buy the game. You buy the game. You plug in at home. Yep. They realise that you plugged it in at home. Yeah. They break into your house. 
They cut your body away yeah. into a hospital setting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who's funding this nefarious The developers plan? of the game. How rich are they? Very rich. How much is the game? I I don't know. But it's a loss leader? Yeah, it's a loss leader. Just, it's... just like most consoles. Oh my god. Yeah. So how accurate is Sword Art Online, the VR in there? It's, it's sort of like... What, what's the best way to describe it? Um... It's sort of, like, well, if you take, because there's no hunger bar. Yeah. But you do have a health bar. In the game itself. Yeah, and the spirit bar. Okay, you mean in the anime game. Like, yeah. you're not playing the game, You're this is the anime. Yeah. How do they show that? But because, like, if you get hit, your power bar goes down. Yeah? Yeah. So, what's, so, who are the enemies in that VR simulation? The, well, either you get the corrupt people. Yeah. Or the bosses inside the, the tower. Oh, wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Anyway, <laughs> is it possible they're currently living a VR life right at this moment? No. Why not? Um, we, we live in a physical physicalised society. We, if you had to work, you had to show up. In some respects, you still have to show up physically. What do you mean? No, 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 Mike. Are we in a virtual re- simulation right now? Oh, this okay. Moment? Are we in? Okay, okay. Are we in one no, right no, this moment? Okay. okay. Well, are you looking at me? Or are, or are you staring at the woman in the red dress? True. Yes. If you don't know that reference, watch The Matrix. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> who is it by again? The Matrix. The Matrix. Who is it by? I'm talking about the movie. Yeah, by the what, what, what brothers? Yeah, the I, I was gonna say Watachi brothers, <laughs> and I'm like, no, the Hatachi brothers, no, no, the Wazowski brothers. Wazowski brothers, except one of the brothers is now a sister, so it's the Wazowski siblings. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's Pride Month, by the way. Transgender people represent. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Pride Month. How many days we got left? That's right, too many. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mike, be proud of yourself, anyway. Rashaski brothers. Yeah. Rashaski siblings now. Yeah. The, they used to be called the Rashaski brothers when the Matrix was being made. Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> Red pill, blue pill, are we in a virtual reality right at this moment? And if we are, how can we tell? I don't think that we are. Why not? There's no evidence for the contrary. But on the other hand, there's actually no evidence that, well, that's where the physical world is either. Well, yeah, that's the that's the point you have to make. So, are we in an ultra realistic VR or are we <laughs> ultra reality VR where I have to get a eye transplant? Yeah, because <laughs> it's simulating that as well. Oh, there's too many outliners, such as, in my opinion. Yeah, such in, as, in order for for not be for not be every. For, for it to be a simulation. Such as? The whole fact that I have to get my eye fixed. That's not a serious problem. So it's always been in the question, what happens when you die? Yeah. What happens? Life goes on. Exactly. Life goes on. But how sure, sure are you that they can't just, you know... Um... I'm, I'm, I'm only one sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not a two or a three sure. Okay. Or, or, or not a... For sure on seabed. <laughs> so there's a slight chance that we could be in the VR at this moment. Yes. Mm. You cannot deal with my superior Android phone. It's not superior. <laughs> how's, uh, your, how, how's your MacBook Pro going? That's alright, I suppose. Um, so we have... Oh, no, no, no. Where are we? Um... Mm, there we go. It's very... There we go. Now, now, Sophie, what is this photo? Oh, <laughs> yes, I've seen that photo. You've seen that photo. Yeah. It's a puppy that looks like a penis. Yes. Yes. And um, and we are going to end that there. Yes, with puppies so, that look like a penis. This has been the As Yet Undecided podcast. You can... 
and contact us on the Manners. Do not send dick pics. You know what you've done now, right? What? If you tell the internet not to do something, yeah, they're going to do it. Then you can edit it out. We're not going to edit it out because it's just funny. Yeah. Um, the if, we, if we end up using dick pics, we can do like a dick pic competition. Great. <laughs> and send your dick pics to Sophie9709 on all platforms, except for Instagram. Or send it to Instagram. I'm pretty sure the Russian Sophie will get a laugh out of that. Yeah. Um, or you can contact me personally on the Marnus. T H E M A R N U S. Oh, well done. Send the dick pics to there as well. <laughs> and by, by all means, have a good week, guys. You too. And don't freeze. Don't freeze. It's cold, Mike. I'm sub zero, remember? Oh, true. A little combat reference. What's cooler than that? That's what's cooler than